Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily guidance reading here at Chelsea Love Tarot. Today is the 8th of June 2020. This is a general reading. It can be regarding love, friendship, family, career, or finances. So you can apply it accordingly however you see fit within the messages. And I also like to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel as I'm growing it and I really appreciate your love and support. So Gemini, let's get to your reading. Spirits and angels, please show me advice and guidance for Gemini for today, 8th of June, 2020. 8th of June, 2020 for Gemini, advice and guidance. 8th of June, for Ge wow. So, Show me more. Yeah. Okay. Gemini, I feel like the advice for you from from the spirit today is that you need to learn self love because the nine of pentacles it's in reverse okay so when it is in when it is in reverse it means that there is some codependency going on um there's some indulgences here as in you know because of the nine of cups here indulging in um uh, feelings like depending on someone to make you feel contented to make you feel like fulfilled without that you are going to feel like it's as if like you feel something is missing like it's not perfect because you know if if someone else doesn't love you so that's why i feel like spirit is trying to tell you that it's time for you to learn how to love yourself how to be independent um understanding also that loving yourself is key that should be number one before you can allow before you can love someone the right way um it's almost like you can't love someone with a cup that is empty right so if you love yourself you pour all of the love into yourself that's the only time you can share it with someone that's the only time that you could give some of your love to someone this is the message i'm getting um in the beginning part of this reading but also i am seeing the six of wands here and justice in reverse and gemini if you were in some sort of a court battle or legal issues you will win you will win the battle you will win if it's some legal situation you know you come out victorious because although i feel like before that you felt like it was unfair and it didn't do you justice if someone was to treat you unfairly they will be getting their karma and you will feel like on top of the world you feel like yes you know um if that person did you wrong whoever did you wrong then you know you're happy and you feel victorious for winning the case whether it's actually a legal case or it's a you know just a situation something that has happened to you and this person in the past you will be winning the case you know but it, it may initially feel like someone was not doing justice someone was not being fair to you but this person will be um, will be facing their karma justice if it's not a legal legal situation but I also see here that um, maybe someone you're dealing with was being really selfish okay they wanted the cake and eat it too and they haven't been fair to you and that justice, justice card in reverse could also mean a divorce okay maybe someone 
is getting a divorce and starting to get a lot of attention from people or starting to act single probably applies to just a small group of you but I also think like I feel like whatever Spirit is trying to show you that whatever you didn't see, like everything, every effort, everything that you have put into, say, if it's your career or in your love connection, that you you didn't see, um, that you couldn't see any uh, return of investment or um, reciprocation. How do you say that? <laughs> if someone doesn't reciprocate, reciprocate I'm always getting that word wrong it doesn't if someone doesn't reciprocate your love before you're starting to see it clearly you know you will come to light I mean you start to so, start to see results I feel more so this part as in like for your career um, part of it it's like you could have probably put a lot of work into something and you were not actually seeing much in return you feel like you know, you've been waiting for so long, you've been putting so much effort in it, but then you're not seeing anything coming out of it positively, but you will, you will, okay, because of the sun card here. It's a very positive card, and it's a very happy card. So I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you that just be positive. Be positive about anything that you've been investing in your life, that it will come to fruition eventually. It will, and it will most definitely unload your burden here with the Ten of Wands. Re unload your burden your finances burden if this is a finance situation for you okay um, possibly because the five of pentacles to me it's like struggling with the money if it has something to do with your finance situation but it could also mean if it's something to do with love then it is like being kicked out from your house or being left out in the cold or missing someone struggling okay within a situation and whatever you've been going through I do see because justice in reverse sometimes it could also mean a divorce okay if you've been married and uh, divorced or getting a divorce I feel like you will finally find your freedom okay but spirit spirit is saying that instead of um, self indulging on things that don't really matter maybe you should focus on um, self-love even more like your independence being single is okay it's actually really good for you look you are going to find out that being single is like you're gonna get all the attention you're gonna get you know you're gonna be on a spotlight you might get a lot of suitors you can finally be happy because of that but it doesn't really matter because you know I feel like this is more like in your past and this is what is heading towards the future and I also feel like spirit is saying that your burden will be let go like you will release all of your burden and you will heal from whatever heartbreak sadness okay in your past possibly regarding your home situation some stability or relationship and you will successfully heal from it and you will learn to love again and love yourself and show people love as well at the same time and I also feel like the Emperor card could be someone you were dealing with in the past someone who was sort of I feel like the Emperor could be a bit of a Nazi okay um, very controlling very stubborn could could go overboard with your power although you find it hard to move on to move forward but it is time to do it okay and death in reverse also shows there is some sort of a resistance here um, towards an ending someone or trying to revive an ending a situation that has ended could be you or the other person okay possibly the other person finding it hard to move on finding it hard to deal with this ending and also the ace of pentacles it's in reverse 
I'm not too sure if they were to try to come back to you, they may not be offering you something that you deem worth it, that you deem is solid, that you deem has a potential in the future. And also the hangman card is showing probably currently something is on a hold right now, or there could be some sacrifices that need to be made. And also with the eight of wands, I feel like maybe there wasn't or there isn't much communication and of course it has affected your family and money as a whole okay finances that could you could be receiving also a, an apology okay from someone um possibly someone in the past who have misused their power who has been too selfish and greedy but you are going to focus on yourself, I see, and you should be focusing on yourself, Spirit is saying, and do not look back to your past. This is your the Six of Cups in reverse because your past isn't really that uh, attractive to begin with, okay? And the Strength card here, Spirit is saying, be strong, be patient, okay? Treat everything very very tactfully um, don't show your anger and don't show your game like your game plan don't talk to anybody about that just keep, sort of like keep keep silent any information that you have about anything anybody just keep keep it like keep quiet and don't talk about it hold yourself back okay but overall Gemini I feel like the message for you today from the universe the guidance the advice for you today is that you know you will be victorious you will win eventually whoever who did you wrong will be serving their karma because it's just this card in reverse and you will see light at the end of the tunnel that's how i'm seeing it all your burden will be let go eventually so don't worry if it hasn't happened yet it will most probably happen in the future okay gemini this is your daily guidance from the universe through me and i'm really glad to send you this very positive message um however there is a free will so you can Nothing is set in stone, so it's completely up to you to make your choice or to make your decision. So if you resonated, Gemini, please like, share, and subscribe. I also do private reading if you like to book a session with me. My number is in the description box below. And yeah, Gemini, I, uh, and I post your video every single day. So I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Take care. Bye. See ya.